Every single one of us has turned to Google in our time of need when it comes to asking questions, whether it's medical related like, you know, I've jammed my finger playing basketball, what now? You'll get a million results telling you that what actually happened is you've contracted the bubonic plague, or you ask for simple tutorials, how to replace your air filters, and you'll get wiki how guides that just have you taking apart your air conditioning unit, or Qora, God forbid, giving you the absolute worst advice this world has ever seen. Point is, every question we have gets asked to Google, and sometimes you get terrible responses that are outright wrong. And I think this is most prevalent when it comes to phone and technology related inquiries. I'm sure all of us are guilty of trying the wet phone in rice thing. That was so popular, and as far as I know, actually did work in some cases where if you like drop your phone in the toilet or in the sink or something, you immediately take it out and put it in a thing of rice, and then like in an hour or a day or whatever, it's better and fixed. Well, it doesn't work for every possible water-related damage to a phone, and that was a lesson that this guy learned the hard way and was not ready to accept, so he made a massive fucking scene about his phone being repaired. Someone just I told repair me phones. Someone just told me this morning, I'm talking about a water damage phone. Okay. Someone told me this morning that they put a whole video camera in a bag of white okay. rice and it solved the problem. Okay. Why would it not solve this? This guy looks so familiar and I can't figure out why. I don't know if it's this leather biker jacket he's got on that makes him look like one of the greasers from the outsiders or what. I, maybe he just resembles a famous actor, like a young Brian Cranston is what I keep coming back to, but the, I can't quite put my finger on it. But anyway, he's upset because his phone got repaired, but he's thinking he got scammed because someone said he could have just put it in white rice and fixed the whole thing as if it's some kind of panacea. Like, white rice is this miracle potion that'll fix any phone damage. Because white rice does not repair an electrical connection that's damaged. How do you know what was wrong in there? I went through you it. Didn't need to. I went through it and looked and I, I asked found you, the problem. I asked you if white rice would repair it. You said, you said no. So you're saying the difference between brown rice, which you tried. I didn't try white brown rice. rice. That's I really wish we had the beginning of this because it seems like they got into an argument of white rice versus brown rice and what's better at repairing damaged phones. Like I feel like we've just gone back to the Middle Ages as if I took a phone back to, you know, the Shire, and I have to consult the local hobbit shaman when my iPhone's damaged, like, hey, how do I fix this? I dropped it in the pond over there washing my clothes, and he's like, oh, well, Charles, have you tried white rice? <laughs> like, I understand the white rice strategy, life hack has worked maybe once or twice, or even more, I couldn't tell how effective it is, but it's not gonna fix everything. If his phone was left in the water for a while and all the electrical circuits were kind of fried, white rice isn't going to somehow magically repair that. It's going to dry it out, great, but it's not going to all of a sudden like reassemble those connections. I'm not an expert here, but I would trust the person who is. And this is such a nonsensical argument on brown rice or white rice, neither one of them is going to solve that problem, which this guy just does not seem to understand. It's on camera, that's you what you said yesterday. I said brown rice, but I did not say, I said, I, said, I, did, I, I, said I said rice. I did not say white rice. White rice will you, repair that. You have said three different things since you've stood here. And you lied to me. No. You lied to me. Not once. Let's just wait till the cops get here. Okay. Okay. God, I hate that stupid smirk he keeps doing here. Just so smug. Gives him the most punchable face on the planet. Just a face that's begging for a knuckle sandwich. His attitude too. Oh, it's so repulsive. What a piece of shit. You can tell he's having a great time arguing, he's getting off on it. You can actually just feel him busting nuts in his tight little trousers there at how much fun he's having, making this worker's day a little worse, just arguing over nothing. His phone is repaired now, but he's upset because he could have done it with white rice, he says. Well then, break your phone again and prove your point. I want you to now go into that employee bathroom, drop it in the toilet, leave it there for a couple minutes, take it out, put it in white rice and see if it fixes it. And when it doesn't, I'm charging you triple. I'd also love to know his thought process on getting the cops involved. What are they going to do? Uh, sir, what seems to be the problem? This, this scam artist, this snake oil salesman fixed my phone when I could have just put it in rice. Uh, throw him in the slammer, please. I could take it apart okay. and show you exactly. I don't care what was wrong because all it did was slide in water, sir. You told me, you told me flat out white rice will not repair that. Flat out. Exactly. Exactly. It won't. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know what this fucking guy thinks white rice is capable of. Does he think they're like little nanobots that go in there and repair electrical devices? Like, I don't get it. 
I don't know why he thinks white rice is just this all-powerful entity that can fix all phones. I know for a fact he's not talking to people in person about this conundrum. He absolutely consulted his reptilian Facebook group and all of them were talking about white rice and chemtrails. So now he charged this place just to be an asshole here. Like, it, it, it's so upsetting to see. He fixed your phone already, man. Leave him alone. If you want to go use white rice and brown rice or, Jesus Christ, even wild rice if we're talking, you know, magic, then go ahead and do that next time. This guy's such a confusing, stupid asshole as well. He said that the employee lied to him telling him that rice wouldn't work, which it wouldn't, I imagine. But if you went to this store to get your phone repaired, why would you even ask about rice without trying it yourself? Why would you drive all the way there? and then ask them about rice, it, when apparently all your friends know better than the expert. Why not just try the rice first and see if it worked, and when that didn't work, go to this guy. Why do this first and then come back complaining about, you know, rice was an option? Well, what you hear and what I actually did are two different things. I don't care what you did. Yeah, you... you no, I don't. Okay, so what kind of world do you live in where what is actually repaired and what you're told are two different things and you don't care to know the truth. I do care to know the truth. Okay. You can't handle the truth, you fucking wax statue. This man has told you a million times rice wouldn't work and you don't know if rice 100% would've. I'm very confident that rice probably wouldn't have and I don't even know the situation here. So, like, I don't know why he's even having this argument. It's so fucking worthless. He's just here to make a scene because he's got nothing else going on in his life and he's just one of those people that thrive on controversy. So he's here and he's just enjoying the misery of this whole situation. I've been told by many people that white rice will do it. Okay. I come in here to your business, you tell me it won't. I can tell you the world is flat. A lot of people will tell me it won't. It isn't. Exactly. Now the NPC's glitching out here. He, he can't wrap his head around what just happened. He made himself look like an even bigger fool. He's such a stupid douchebag. This again just highlights my point that there is no winning when it comes to customer service. This guy did his job well, did exactly what the customer asked him to do, fix my phone, he did it, and there was still a problem. The man came back the next goddamn day to make a big hoopla about it. It's so frustrating to watch. Again, my heart goes out to anyone working in a field that involves dealing with customers. Like, it's it's miserable and I'm wishing you the absolute best. I also hope that the second this video ended, this guy left the store and it just it was a torrential downpour. Just an absolute monsoon. A biblical storm blew through and once again waterlogged his phone, immediately breaking it. And then he went home, tried rice, and the whole goddamn thing just blew up. And, and now he's going to have to get a new phone. That, that's, if there's any justice in the world, that's how that played out in my fanfic. Uh, anyway, that's really about it. See so, ya. Yeah.